movies that you would do to see. And what were the sort of parts that you saw were do for them? Well, painting the cave, you know, the, the puzzle solving, the history, yeah, entertainment. People will learn something about American history, but in a fun way. We call it entertainment, you know, and you go back and you look it up and you go, oh, wow, that's true, but that part wasn't true. And uh, but we were desperate to do something completely new in the sense that we wanted to do female centric. We wanted not only our lead to be a woman, we wanted our bad guy, our Sean Bean, our Ed Harris this time. to be about women in history as well. So we covered, you know, Fred uh, Franklin and County Fathers, so we've done those guys. And this time we wanted to go, let's find some interesting female uh, figures from history that we can write fashion on the story. You've already worked together on the films and now the series. What is it like working together as a couple? And you know, who takes lead, or is it a, how collaborative is that process? It's crazy. We always I have that brain, and you have that brain. Together, we have a brain. We roll out of bed. What should be for you the main duty of a good executive producer? The main duty. I'm sorry. What should be for you the main duty of a good executive producer? What is the duty of an executive producer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that, that's a really good question. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that's a really good question because when you write a feature, you write a feature, you turn it in, and the yes. director and the producers basically do everything. And you go to the premiere, when, unless you're writing on the set, you go to the premiere and you don't want to movie to When you do TV and you exec produce it, you have to take everything. You have to pick your hats, you have to pick the songs, you have to get the edits, you have to get the you have to get the shirt. It's a crazy, 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 crazy job. So, and then you see, like, I John Turtle talk and I just go, I can't believe it. He's going to do it again. Because he would just be laughing at it. Yeah, because the director and features is like the executive producer on TV. It's okay. the same. Like, the director and features controls everything and does everything. Um, so you, it's the last one. Can you imagine how nervous we were when we had yeah. to get cast and we have to send some of the very rough cast to see did we make the right choice? <laughs> Jerry weighed in on everything. He weighed in on everything. Yeah. So He's it's very a very big learning experience. Yeah. And TV writers are way more in charge. So that's always, we did Common Law, who was 10 years ago, so we should love But being in charge is a weird place for writers. So working on the movie franchise, now moving into the television franchise, the series has a number of, the fandom's huge, it's got a deep following. What type of callbacks or Easter eggs can these fans of yours look forward to seeing in this new show? Oh, we definitely are writing this for the fans of the movies because that's where the meets that fandom is very close. We definitely are teasing uh, page 47. We have three characters from the, the movies um, and uh, in the show. And we, Ben Gates is not in it, um, but he plays prominently because he is, did I say this right? He is, he, he is the Bob Ballard who has the Titanic in our movie. He is 
the guy. So he is mentioned. He is like the number one Twitter founder in America. Like he, he, he is a huge presence. So um, we try to play. So that's that. that. And then um, other Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Good work. He's Tony Stark, and he's Tony Stark. And it's just, that's the way we want to live. He's part of his very universe, but he would have never been able to make this as a movie because he you know, was a character who had a lot of money in the East. And it's not like it's a gen base, it's someone completely different. But he's in trouble. He's a famous person who was there. You know, um, in a, it, the show is all about It's all about that because Cormac's dad tell the story. He came from England. Well, he he's Irish. My dad's Irish. So he grew up in Ireland until like third grade. We got Irish history. Then he moved to England and he got English history. Which is Irish, Irish are the bad guys, and the English are the good guys. And then he comes over to the United States and he's like, oh, wait a minute, the English are the bad guys, the Americans are the good guys. So you can always sit at the table and talk about history, coming from whoever done the story of history. And you have to kind of just look at it from that point of view. So, that's a big, that's a big takeaway from this show that we hope people respond to, because it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.